Hello everyone, I'm Ali Agar from the Data Schools 23rd cohort. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can format across workbooks, including some tips on how to quickly copy formatting from one worksheet to another. This will equip you to create beautiful dashboards that help users follow the story and discover insights easily. Let's get started. This is a dashboard I made for an internal project. You can find the link to the final product in the description, but at the moment I think I've made some terrible formatting choices. So let's fix them together. There are a lot of worksheets, so I don't want to go through each one to fix them. I want something that works across everything. The first thing I want to change is the font for everything. So let's go to Format, Workbook, and you can see the options that change everything for the entire workbook. The first option, luckily, is for fonts, all. So if I change that from Tableau Book to Trebuchet, you can see the difference that's already made. You also have more detailed options for individual sections. For example, worksheets, tooltips, worksheet titles, dashboard titles, and story titles. I think my tooltips are a little bit too small, so let's go and edit that. We go to tooltips, change the size to a 12. That's a lot better. So the first thing you might have noticed is actually the grid lines, these hideous red lines here. I want to change them by going to the lines at the bottom here and get rid of the grid lines. That's got rid of grid lines for the ones that had the reds and also the ones that already didn't have grid lines. So be careful when you use these options. I want to also get rid of the pink and green borders, but I can't see the options here in the lines. We have zero lines, trend lines, reference lines, drop lines, access rulers and access ticks but we don't have border options. To do that, we need to actually go to the worksheets themselves. So let's go to this one and get rid of the borders. Again, I don't have a lot of time, so I don't want to repeat those steps for everything. So what I can do is go to the bottom Right click, copy formatting, and paste it for all the other relevant charts. Notice that it didn't have to be the same type of chart. So you can use it on multiple different kinds of charts, but do be careful. For example, in this one, I've also got rid of the grid line that I wanted at the bottom. So I will have to go back and get a line back in. I wanted a zero line, so that is fine. Let's go back to our dashboard and view the final product. Much better. Thank you for watching this video on using the cross workbook formatting options. I hope that this saves you a lot of formatting time in the future. If you enjoyed this video, you may also like my colleague Priya's video on how to format borders and lines.